Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your new moon in Capricorn reading for January 2nd, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly grateful for each and every one of you. This is a very powerful, very exciting new moon. The first one to kick off what hopefully looks like a better 2022 than there was in 2021. The energy of this new moon, which is a super moon, by the way, thank you, actually coincides with New Year's. So it's a great time to reflect on where we've been, to reflect on where we want to go, and to set some intentions and to maybe even embark on a manifestation journey. Sag, this new moon lands in your second house. Your second house is ruled by Venus and Taurus. And this is all about your work, your income, how you make your money, taking stock of your assets, your possessions, okay? But it's also not only about the things you value, but also the values of yourself as well, okay? What do you hold dear? What do you hold valuable, okay? This is also where your habits lie as well, okay? So some of you, that might be your focus that you're really focused on, okay? Your material uh, prosperity, uh, the things that you hold dear, the things that you hold great value in. It doesn't have to be money. That's for sure. Okay. Also your habits and things. All right. So let's see what we've got for you guys. All right. We've got the queen of the moon and we've got sovereignty. This is beautiful. This really does show and really does bring in the energy where you are the ruler of your own life. You're taking charge. You're taking control. All right. You've got sovereign reign. Hmm. over your goals and your dreams. You have the ability to make change if that's what's required. This is card number 41. Fours have to do with work, home, stability, a good solid foundation. Ones are usually exciting new opportunities to make improvements or to start something brand new. Of course, you put those together and you get a five. And so some of you might be ushering in some big changes in 2022 or you're just looking to do something a little bit different, a little bit better. But the Queen of the Moon shows that you have control, okay? It's bringing you this confidence that you need, okay, to get things done or to initiate some sort of change, all right? Maybe even get out of your comfort zone in some way, okay? But it also shows your ability and your actual power to harness the powers of the universe and to attract all sorts of wonderful things into your life. Let's see what else we've got here for you. And we have the Leo energy here of Be Humble. Actually, it's weird because the song I have going through my head is I don't even know who sings it. It's like Be Humble and Kind or something. Anyways, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It was in my head before we uh, started this reading. And maybe this is why. So Be Humble. Okay, uh, humbleness is a little bit of a lost art sometimes, right? I mean, you know, we've got social media, we've got Instagram and things, and we've got all of this, you know, instant gratification and all of these things. But, you know, the thing is, when we have this deeper appreciation for things and understanding that we are a cog in the universal wheel and that everything is really um, attached and when we give thanks and we express our gratitude for things and we enter into this energy of being humble, being kind, um, this uh, kind of humility um, uh, kind of energy, okay? It's actually really tapping into our feminine side, right? The queen of the moon. Uh, the queen of the moon energy is that divine feminine energy, trusting your intuition, going with the flow, being open and receptive, taking charge of your situation, and being able to attract the things that um, make you feel strong, powerful, and secure and stable, but living in the energy of grace and gratitude, of being thankful of knowing of not being um how should we say not being entitled and sometimes you know we do talk about these days there's a lot of entitlement that's around the world and yes while you, everyone is deserving of all of the bounties of the universe that there is to offer okay we do need to be thankful we do need to be graceful and we do need to express that gratitude for it just because we think we deserve it okay or just because we think we're entitled to it all right that's not exactly the 
best vibe to be putting out there, shall we say, right? And sometimes we need to work. Sometimes we need to work hard for things. Sometimes we need to put in our, uh, pay our dues, so to speak, okay? And, you know, so this is wonderful energy reminding us to be open, to be receptive, to be humble, be kind, to really um, embrace this feminine, divine feminine energy uh, that really does flow through us. We can listen to our intuition. We can take the action that we need to take and harness all of the energies of the universe, but in a gentler, calmer, quieter kind of way. Okay. But when we bring in the Leo energy, all right, yes, Leo, kind, compassionate, all of those things, but Leo is also courageous, brave, and perseveres to overcome um, obstacles and challenges and also knows when to take action on things as well. All right. So it's a quieter kind of uh, a quieter, gentler energy, okay, but also one that has that underlying passion, okay, and that ability to take action when you need to. So it's like a little bit, I don't know, I'm getting like a little bit of a balanced energy that's coming in here. A little bit of discernment a little bit, right? Knowing when to take action, knowing when to be fierce and when to be brave and when to power through, but also when to take that um, quieter, calmer approach to things. Be thankful be graceful, be humble. So let's see what other energies are coming out here for you. We've got peace, ghost, success, nice. And we have intuition. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, that open receptive energy, that moon energy that comes in asking you to pay attention to your intuition. All right, to when you get the things that you're wanting to attract, right? When you have that success, be humble, be graceful, be thankful. All right, so what are we releasing? Anything that prevents us from finding our peace, our inner peace, our outer peace. Is there something that you've been clinging to, something that you've been holding on to? Are there fears, worries, and doubts, okay? Are you harboring any kind of feelings of anger or grief, okay? Is this an energy that's within you or is it something external? You have the ability to find your inner peace, your outer peace, to find your way forward, okay? But in some cases, something needs to change, something needs to go. So sometimes it's people. It is the end of the year. We, uh, in 2021 especially, there's been a lot of people that have felt stuck felt as though they're stuck in their in a, in a rut or stuck in their comfort zone. There's been so much chaos, turmoil, and upheaval in the world in 2021, more so really than 2020. I think 2020, everything was kind of new. Everything was kind of like, hmm, uh, you know, what's coming around the corner, right? And it was like challenging for sure for a lot of people, but 2021, eh, it's like most people are like, okay, I'm over this now. I'm done with this energy now. There's been a lot of upheaval, a lot of chaos, protests, those kind of things. And now we're ushering in an, um, a year where we have the ability to find balance, to find peace, to get some stability back into our lives again. 2022 is all the twos, right? Two, two, two. And the twos are really about balance, harmony, cooperation, partnerships. Okay, um, look up the deeper meaning, the spiritual and angel meaning of 222. You'll be amazed what you find there, okay? This new moon occurs, occurs on January 2nd, so another two, 2222 two, two, two brings in those fours. Okay, so it's a six year and this new moon lands on a four. Okay, so this stability, security, it's like, it's like all of the chaos, all of the disruption that occurred in the last two years, everything's kind of like settling down a little bit in 2022. All right, will it take a while to come in? Most likely, all right, but there is that huge light at the end of the tunnel. We are seeing the possible finishing line of things, okay? So, you know, this peace energy is trying to come in here, all right, and but it does invite you to take control, to have that sovereign reign over your situation, over yourself, over your energy, over your outlook, over your way of doing things, your 
3D situations, right? Your um, personal relationships, your workplace relationships, right? All of these things. And whatever is inhibiting you from finding that peace that you may be looking for or finding that calm energy, all right, this is what needs to go. This is what's being released. And it could just be this beautiful release of all 2021. It's like, thank you very much, 2021 go away. Okay. Not interested in seeing you or hearing about you anymore. All right. And so maybe some meditation, right? This be humble energy. This person is in quiet, calm meditation. Okay. The queen of the moon energy, the sovereignty comes in with this peace, this open and receptive energy to follow your goals and your dreams, right? And to maybe even get out of your comfort zone a little bit, but let go of those lower vibe energies and bring in the new. What to be aware of going forward is the ghost energy. Sometimes along our trek, sometimes along our journey, okay, um, little ghosts from our past come up. And it's perfectly okay. Sometimes we get those memories. Sometimes we get energy that comes back that we thought that we dealt with before, especially if any of you are on a spiritual journey, right? This is a wonderful time to really harness the powers of the universe and to tap in your spiritual side, trust your intuition, connect with your chakras. All right. And, you know, sometimes when we do that, we expand our consciousness and then we find things kind of that we swept under the rug or that we've thought that we've dealt with before. And in reality, we didn't really, um, but because we didn't think about it for a while, we think we did. So every once in a while, you may have these little ghosts of the past that come up, these residual energies, residual situations. And so, um, you know, so this is just something to be aware of moving forward. Sometimes it is those fears, worries, doubts, and those things, especially on a manifestation journey, there's success coming in here. So wherever you set your intentions, you have the ability to attract and harness all of this infinite potential that the universe has to offer with this moon energy, right? We tap into the moon to get that extra oomph okay to get that extra bit of energy attached to our um to our intentions okay and sometimes along that journey it can be a little bit of a bumpy ride because when we set our intentions the wheels are already in motion okay and the universe is really working um for our best and highest good but our human side tends to take over because we quite often get impatient, we get frustrated. Um, if a door closes on us, right, or if a situation comes to an end, we rail at the fates and we're like, oh my God, I have no, I, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd have no luck, you know, those kind of things. And so when we do get those lower vibe energies creeping back in, spirit just wants us to be aware, be mindful of our thoughts and our feelings, give ourselves permission to examine and reflect on those energies or those thoughts or those feelings or whatever that comes back in and then to release and to let go all right and sometimes we think that we should just oh my god I can't be feeling this way just go 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 and we just push something to the side again but it is important to kind of have a look at those energies or thoughts that do come in and be mindful of those and it is okay and it is important actually to examine those thoughts and feelings when they do come up um, because it's in those few minutes of examination and then of letting go and then refocusing on something a little bit more positive that we actually make progress and we can actually start to see things differently all right and we can get back in this peaceful energy we can get back in this calm energy and be back in the flow of the universe all right so it's perfectly fine and perfectly human nature for things like that to come up and it's really just about being mindful of those things all right and um, for some of you there may be with the ghost energy i gotta tell you okay um in the months ahead okay or at least in this month all right there may be somebody coming back into your life and I don't usually go down this road with these kind of readings because it's really all about the energy, but the ghost uh, the ghost card there in that particular um, position in the spread really does invite talking about it. Okay, so some of you may have something coming back. Could be a person, could be a situation, may even be an opportunity. So you might have a choice to make. All right, you could have that 
you know, that X coming back or something like that, right? The beginning of the year, I've done some deep thinking, I've done this and, you know, and all of these things. And maybe they're just coming back to get a little bit of closure to make peace, especially if something didn't end well, okay? But they also could be coming back because they've made peace within themselves and they're ready to give something a second go, a second shot. The ghost energy can also indicate that there may be another opportunity that comes back around, maybe something that you thought that you had lost, and maybe some or maybe something that you thought you had given up on or a connection that never got off the ground right and before the pandemic there was a lot of people out there that had made new connections and things looked a little bit promising and then boom pandemic everything shuts down and it's like well i guess it's back to the drawing board so some things never got off the ground so in the months ahead um there certainly may be a second opportunity for something that never actually had a chance to start anyway. What you are ultimately attracting with this new moon is success. Perfect. What does success mean to you? Finding your inner peace, um, learning things about your, about your life, your situations, gaining control over your life, having sovereign reign over your life, so to speak. Okay, is it clearing out any old ghosts from the past? All right, is it attracting new opportunities or making improvements in your life? Whatever it happens to be, success is what you are attracting in here, Sag. Okay, and I'm not going to really dwell too much more on that because success means something different for absolutely everybody. Okay, new jobs, new loves, new relationships, networking, new opportunities, okay, a new sense of self and a, the dawn of a brand new Sag. Okay, those missed connections that come back in. Okay, an increase in your money, um, improvements in your relationships, whatever that happens to be, it's shining off of this, uh, off of this table, and it's shining right at you. So this beautiful energy of success is really shining down on you, Sag. So this really does set the tone for the year for you, and really is quite exciting. Okay, your overall energy here, your overall outcome is to watch your intuition, to pay attention to your intuition. Some of you have been on an, a journey of spiritual expansion, spiritual growth. Your crown chakra is open. Okay, your third eye is open. Your heart chakra is open. All of these wonderful energies and your intuition is at an all time high. You will know when to take action. You will know when to let something go. You will know when to sit back and just go with the flow of the universe. All right, your intuition will guide you, will lead you the way, and will never, ever, ever lead you astray. Those times when we say, oh, hindsight's twenty twenty. I knew I should have done that. That was your intuition talking originally. And then your brain took over and said, no, 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 no. We can't do that. No, 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 no. We got to do this. We got to analyze. We got to do this. And we always go back and our intuition was never wrong. It's that hindsight energy. But imagine if you trusted your intuition right out of the gate. You would never have to use those words, hindsight's twenty twenty, ever again in your life. It takes practice though, because we are quite often taught to analyze, to have things in a structure, to do all of these things instead of trusting our intuition. Everybody has it. Okay, so exercise it, use it, tap into it. Okay, you've got this deep connection with the universe. Okay, the ability to attract in all sorts of wonderful energy into your life. Okay, but not just at, not just at this new moon, but also going forward as well. And it's beautiful and it's uplifting and it's just giving you that guidance, that internal guidance, that spiritual guidance that you maybe didn't even know that you needed or were looking for. So... Let's get a couple more cards out here for you. Last messages, please, for Sag. Oh, and I just realized, yes, this new moon is landing in your second house as well. So twos might actually be really important for you. Second house, second day of the month in 2022. So five twos are really being affected for you um, in this new moon. So look up the spiritual and angel number, angel meaning of those five twos, two, 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 two. You will get different messages and you will get further guidance when you do that. So let's have a look and see what else we've got here for you. We've got peace energy coming out again. Okay, and this is card 26, twos, 
huh? Hello, twos, and also six. All right, six is the year. 2022 is a six year. So this is bringing you peace, balance, enlightenment. This is giving you the ability and the energy and the opportunity to dissolve unwanted and disturbing thoughts, to find that inner peace, your path to healing, personal growth, attaching, um, you know, uh, connecting with your intuition, with the energies of the universe. Absolutely beautiful energy coming in there for you. And then we also have number 14. 14 actually relates back to what? Temperance card. What is the temperance card? The card of Sagittarius. All the stars really are aligning for you here, Sag. Okay. And card 14, actually interesting. I love looking for numbers. Uh, Queen of the moon, the sovereignty is card 41. Purification is card 14. Okay, so ones and fours as well. All right, and so the purification fire, this is showing you um, that you have the ability to get back to your true self, your true soul, who Sagittarius truly is, to understand who you truly are, what sparks that fire within you, what gives you that passionate connection, what do you want to achieve, anything else, okay, that is not part of moving forward, not part of your future, you're letting go. Okay, you have the ability right now to see the truth of your situation, to really connect with your intuition, with your higher self. And this shows that sometimes we don't need a lot of fluff and flutter around us, right? We already have all the tools that we need. We've got the essential toolkit in our chest. And we really do um, sometimes, you know, there's certain things in our life that are nice to have and there's certain things that are a must have. Okay. And we have already got all of those tools in our chest that we need to make the right choices for ourselves, to find our path forward, to connect with the universe, right? We all have this inner wisdom. We all have this experience, everything else. Okay. Everything that's not for our best and highest good, you do have the ability to move away from. Okay. Or to deal with something just a little bit different. Okay, this also gives you the ability to get the truth out in the open, okay, to have those important conversations that maybe you need to have, whether it's just with yourself, or whether it's other people. Um, number 14 does relate back to uh, the temperance card, the temperance card brings about balance, healing brings about a patient kind of energy, a very calm energy, and also your connection with your angel spirits and your guides. Okay, so this is your really your opportunity here to bring in this peace, this calm energy, and to be really successful. So let things go that no longer are part of your future. Make the changes that you need to make. Those answers are all within you. You have this guidance. You know what to do. You know where, what is important for you. And you know what leaves you feeling successful and whole and at one with yourself and the universe. And you know what is giving you that inner peace. Lovely energy. I'm going to leave that there for you, Sag. I hope there was something here that resonated for you. Um, you may also want to look at, if you know them, your moon rising and Venus sign readings as well. Okay, but I think I'm going to leave this here. Hopefully there was something here for you. I thank you guys so much for watching. Happy new mooning. And I hope you have, have a wonderful start to new year, new year. All right. So thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.